everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and I am so excited today. Have you seen these 3D pumpkin lanterns or boxes that are going around on the internet? They are so fun and they are so easy to do. And so I have come up with six of these. This first one is more of a box and then we have five that are lanterns. So I'm going to show you the difference between them and then we will go ahead and get started. This is a very versatile project. Everything you need to, to make any of these is included in your file. So if you want to do a solid black pumpkin, you can do that. And then you can put your pieces in. You can also do it out of purple and you can do your insert pieces out of any color that you want, out of black or orange. I've even got one out of white and one out of purple that I'll show you here in just a minute. We also have this one that I showed you already that has a solid piece. Now this is not so much a lantern as a box. And if I can hold this down low enough, this piece would pop out and then you can put some treats or little gifts or whatever you would like in there and close it up and then give this as a gift. And this would work great for Thanksgiving or Halloween or fall. You can also just use it for your decor. Now the other option is, um, I showed you the solid black one, is this one you can do the leaves and the stems in a separate color. So that's what we're going to do first, is we're going to do this box with the leaves and the stems. So what you'll get in your file, <clears throat> besides the, the pieces, which I'll show you in a minute, or the sides, excuse me, is first off, you will have 12 of these stem pieces. You'll have six that point to the right and six that point to the left. That is an optional piece. You will have two of the, um, I can't remember what these are called. Anyway, the little swirly things. You will have two small leaves and two large leaves. And then your pieces, you'll have first off, you will have a top and a bottom. So your bottom piece has a little notch in the middle and your top piece, piece does not. So bottom, top. And then you'll have your three pumpkin shapes. And they have a number down below so that you can put these in order because they are all a little bit different. So this one says number three. This one says number two. Oh, I didn't pop the two out. You don't have to pop them out, but it helps you. That says number two. And then the first one has a number one down on the bottom.
on the bottom, you'll be a little bit happier. As one with his spider. And we're going to take our vellum 
and we're just going to glue it to the inside and it is a teeny bit smaller than that outside piece and just fold it down not fold it down um rub it down so that it's nice and sticky and then i flip it over and then again we're going to just round this a little bit we're going to kind of train it I'm going to do the same thing with this one. You don't want to make a big gobby mix mess with your glue, but you do want your pieces to stick to that vellum. If you do decide to use acetate with these, First, like I said, it needs to be a really thin acetate. And then you've got to figure out a way to glue these, these down because glue does not work on acetate. You'd have to use a tape runner. So I would really stick with the vellum or the light copy paper. And then we're going to just very nice. Now these are wet, so I'm going to set them aside and we are going to finish our pumpkin with the orange ones with the trick or treat. So what I was saying with this is you can put these in every other one. And you just put them in the two tabs rotating it. This pumpkin's kind of big to fit the whole thing in the camera. You're just sliding them in the top and the bottom tabs or slots. And then before you put that last one in, you would take your light, whatever type of light you're gonna use, and put it in there. And then, this one I'm doing from the top, so you might not be able to see it, but we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna slide that in there. And tape it in there. So now, if I spin that around, you can see that it has three of each on there. If you wanted to, and you wanted to do six of them all the same, you could do that as well. And that would be really pretty. Or six of the, whoops, my light is flopping around in there. six of the trick-or-treat. Okay, let's do one more time. I'm going to take this black one because I want to show you how pretty it is with the white. So I'm going to do the same thing. I have the white that has the boo or the ghost. And we're just going to slip those in. You could do these pumpkins in any color. You could do them in tan for fall. The solid one I did kind of in a rusty orange for fall. That's going to go on my fall, fall table. Okay, I glued this one on upside down, so don't do that. Watch the direction you're gluing that. I was trying to get these all ready for the video and didn't pay any attention, so my boo is backwards on that one. On the others, I don't think it would really matter. The trick-or-treat and the boo definitely matters. But isn't that so pretty with the black and the white as well? 
so many options. Thank you for joining me today. I will do a little slideshow at the end of this with a picture of all of these with the different sides. But thank you for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give one of these a try. They are so much fun and so popular. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.